Hello, everybody. Hello, welcome to our house update. Oh, What's the hair look like down? <laughs> Legolas. Hmm? Legolas. Legolas. That's why I said every time I do this, I feel like I look like Legolas. Okay, I guess this is as good as it's gonna get. Okay, so today's video is just a mishmash of vlog footage, but I want to show you guys some updates because there is a lot of cool stuff going on in our house today. So this is an EQ3 sofa in the panorama style. It's quite affordable for what we got. It's very sizable, it's very comfortable. I really like it. However, you guys know it took like literally 10 months to arrive here because of COVID delays and disorganization. So far so good. This is in the linen color. Um, you guys probably can't tell, but it's just so light. Like I can lift that with one arm. Um, but it stays very like in, like it doesn't shift around when you're sitting on it, but it's just easy to move. So if Dylan and I were gonna have a movie night, we could bring this over here and both spread our legs out and stuff like that. So that's pretty cool. Behind here is another piece of furniture I was waiting on. This is from EQ3. So um, if you guys can see, we only use half the shelf because I really wanted it behind the sofa. So that way someone could have somewhere to place their glass of wine or their drink or what. So our front entry, same as always, but I'm really liking how the living room is turning out. Um, yeah, I think it looks dope. Up here, I actually haven't shown this yet, but Dylan and I did our own artwork. It was really easy. I have all the footage here, so I'll throw it to that. <laughs> you get blown away. We exchanged it for something smaller, but it was less expensive. So there you go. Okay guys, we got our little poster, big poster, because the original one we wanted didn't fit. But guys, I'm really bad at asking, but if you ever see something that's slightly damaged or home sense, just here, like verbatim, all you have to do is be like, oh, I see this damage here. Is there any possible way I could get a better price? And no one ever really fights you on it. I'm just saying, um, if there's actual damage, like obviously they, everyone, it's, it's about the deal, so always ask. I'm terrible at it. Let me know if you guys are good at negotiating or asking for stuff, but. You should go to Best Buy since you're right here. Get you a hard drive so you can enter your computer. I know you don't want to do it, but you should just do it. Okay. There we are, we're at Michael's. We're gonna pick up some paint and some supplies. Like, that's the vibe, am I right? Again. Okay, we like this. Ooh. We do like orange, like that looks so, has a black frame. Oh, cerulean blue. We all know cerulean blue. Like, Can you get it out? No, no, I just wasn't sure if I wanted it. Like that could be so cool and abstract. And then we probably need this black one, don't we? Okay, I guess we'll still need white, right? Oh, oh those ones are 30% off, so we have to do like the calculations. I like, I think these colors are like nicer-ish though, don't you think? Or we can get like a set, which is probably the best. No, cause like what if we don't want? Well like the main thing is we already know what kind of look we want. Do you think, so. I think this is too bright. Sure. Yeah, this one is easy. 15 minutes yeah. you can do this. Really? really? Wow. That's beautiful. I just did this thing the other day. You did? Oh yeah? I really That's like, cool. did you? I just like love when people are not gatekeeper, gatekeepers and like want to help us instead of make fun of us. It's so easy to make fun of us. Should we do so? She suggested cerulean blue. Oh, yeah, this is literally her matchup. Like, that was that's really her, pretty. That's her that, those are very mid century. I also like this one though, the sap green. That looks like our. That's um, beautiful. Like, those that's look like so our beautiful. Coverage. I just don't know if I want the base to be. Like, maybe the base should just be white and then we just like. I think it should. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Hello. I wanted to do this before my mom got here, but it's not gonna happen. So here's all our stuff from the dollar store. We got these painting knife sets. We got these two brushes from the dollar store, which will be really good for like going ch -ch -ch. We have our spackle. We have um, leftover white paint, which we're gonna paint the canvas. I'm freaking out, this is so cool. This is, this is stunning. I'm gonna sign my name, or just RW. Put together because make it look more like one signature. On top? No, on top, but we just kind of. Right here? Yeah. Cutie. Mm -hmm. Thoughts? It's the best it's gonna get. <laughs> Such an easy project. Literally cost us, it actually costed us quite a bit of money because we decided to get high quality paints and stuff. 
but it was a really fun like rainy day activity that Dylan and I were able to do and we made our own art. And I'll actually show you guys our next project which was really fun. So our dining room chairs, you guys know I thrifted these, not thrifted, I found them on Kijiji pre-owned and they're like original Danish teak MCM and all that but I decided to reupholster them and the fabric for finding this fabric took so long because there was actually a fabric at EQ3 I really liked, but it was $70 a meter. We found one that's really similar that we luckily got for I think $20 a meter yeah. or $22 a meter. So we reupholstered all the chairs, I'll throw back to that footage. It was a really fun night. So far, this is looking good. I kind of feel like I'm a broken record because we obviously want something here, like an extra like buffet or sideboard here, maybe some art eventually. Some of you may ask like, how are you gonna keep this sofa clean? <laughs> um, and light sofas. I actually, we've never personally had a problem with it with our dog, our dog doesn't actually shed that much. But we are using these Barefoot Dreams blankets, which I'm like obsessed with. We basically just cover our whole sofa in blankets on the regular um, and we're still able to enjoy it and stuff but if we're having a more grown-up I guess event or day maybe we take them off and just put them on the seating areas but if we're leaving the house and Toledo's home alone we'll just throw all the blankets on our sofa they're really easy to fold easy to throw in the wash um, but before I do that I want to show you guys what I picked up at the Goodwill up in Guelph this was two bucks and I have decided I am going to collect flower vases I love glassware. I think it's really pretty and you don't have to find like matching sets of glassware. Obviously, every one's a little bit different. This one's just, just so nice. It's two dollars. Like, gorgeous. But we actually went up to Aberfoyle for the day, so I'll throw it back to that footage. We are heading to Aberfoyle Antique Market today. I am going with my friends. We're all reunited again. It's our first like big vintage trip together in over a year and a half. So we're very, very excited. Uh, Aberfoyle is actually the largest antique market, I believe in Ontario. I'm not sure in Canada, but um, I'll check that. I'll have their link in the description box. This isn't sponsored, but it's somewhere I've always wanted to check out. And now that we all have places to furnish, I think it's gonna be super fun because we're gonna be looking at home decor. I don't know if they have clothes, so we'll definitely check that out. We also may stop at a thrift store on the way, but we're just gonna go with the flow today. Yeah, they have different vendors every weekend. Oh, every wow. week, every Sunday, they have like. Oh. Look at these candles. Like this is like. Yeah. So pretty. <laughs> I know. Like, look at that one. <gasps> Sorry, I'm like. Oh, I like how like they're they're light. Come back here for sure. Yeah. Ooh, I like the, I like the colors. That's so nice. There's like purples. It's be nice, and I don't I don't even have space for this. Like where would I? Put? <laughs> so nice. I'm gonna have to. Pick it's awesome. like it's like a you and me ring. Like these two. They're, look at all the jewelry. It's so cool. So, so cute. Twenty five. Yay, this is real. I already bought something. I bought this. I want to check this out. So guys, this is like such a staple at antique wow. fairs. You get these letters that are actually taken down from large signs and a lot of them are vintage. I think it's really, really cool. I'll leave a W, that'd be cute for my last name. I have no idea where I'd put that. I know. That's sick. This is so pretty. Oh my gosh. I didn't even know there was this stuff. Look at all these little lampshades. That's so fun. Look at all of them. This is so, wait, this is so cool. We have to like walk into here. This is so insane. Like this doesn't even look real. I wish you guys can see. This, this doesn't look real. Oh my God, it says needful things and curiosities. Needful and things and curiosities. That's so cool. Wow. This is so cool. It's all like little knobs and drawer pulls. How incredible. Wow, these are beautiful. Yeah, the knobs are so pretty. I know. Yeah, was it someone, were you looking for knobs? I did last year, but I like these. This is so cute. Yeah, I thought someone was. All these little hooks and stuff. They're so cute. Wait, there's so many. <laughs> they look at seahorses. So cute, they're little seahorse. Vintage heaven. If I could find a little bench for the end of the bed, that would be amazing. 
So cool. Oh, look. There's us. Outfit of the day. I'm inside. Annie's outside. <laughs> yes. Really, really pretty thing. These are so cool. This reminds me a lot of Amber Interiors. She does a lot of cool stuff like this. Really cool. I don't... Yeah, I don't need any more dishware, but I love this and I love that it comes together. So pretty. Oh, look at this butter holder. That's beautiful. That's so pretty. Yeah, I don't... I don't eat real butter. <laughs> so, yes. We love a good prop. At the thrift store, second stop. I love this. Two dollars. That's so pretty. Eight dollars. Tips for Aberfoyle. Bring water, bring a large bag, bring a wagon if you can. Um, make sure you have ample amount of room in your car in case you decide to find something. Okay, but yeah, really happy with how this space is turning out. I feel like our living room is essentially done. We do want to paint this um, into like a lighter, sandier color to match everything else and have it blend into the wall a bit more because it is kind of dark for our taste. So that's going to be a project for another time, but hopefully soon. Another little find, I actually got this at V de V. It's one of my favorite places to find home goods in Toronto, but I think they also have a location in Montreal. I think it's originally a soap dish, but I decided to make it my crystal holder. Also, the bear bricks. I think I need a third bear brick, guys, and I'm debating if I should get one that's like a thousand percent and put him over here. Like, I like when things are in sets of three. Okay, so the books, we did go over all the books, but I'm gonna just show you guys a mini book haul of all the ones that I think are pretty neat. This Hermes one, so gorgeous. Um, it basically just has all these illustrations from one of the artists that does them for Hermes. Really pretty. This Nike book I got from HomeSense. The Palm Beach book was a gift. This is a really cool book I also got from HomeSense, super affordable. And then I want to show you guys this book because I actually found this at the thrift store um, a few days ago. But what was so crazy is actually coming back from Aberfoyle, I actually asked Dylan if we can go to a thrift store just because I was in that thrifty mood. And I found this book called Simple Abundance, A Day Book of Comfort and Joy. It's kind of like the Daily Stoic where basically every day has a little small essay in it to teach you how to live a more thoughtful, joyous life. But what was so crazy is is the day that I picked this up was August 8th and I pulled to August 8th that same day and it was all about antiquing. So I feel like that was just such a sign, like so meant to be because we literally just came back from an antique market. So I feel like this book is just like meant to be in our house. So I have it here and I've been reading it every day since then. If you guys aren't into crystals, um, maybe you won't like be into this, but selenite wands are meant to kind of cleanse your house of the energy. You use it to cleanse your crystals and all that. So I like to keep one at the front door because I think it'd be nice to like kind of cleanse the energy as you walk in. Um, but also it's just really, really pretty. Um, our favorite crystal shop is the Rock Store down on Harvard. This shelf is also where we hide all of our ugly stuff. So in here, you guys can see I have my lip balm. We have some dog treats, the plugs. Um, like it's usually more organized than this because I don't usually keep this stuff here. It's usually my bedside table, but that's where our remote control is, our Kleenex, extra coasters. So that way we're able to kind of go into here and reach in here. But when you step out, you don't even know it's there. So yeah, we do have some not as aesthetically pleasing things in our home, but I, there's always a way to kind of hide them and still keep them kind of convenient and in reach. You're so drippy. <laughs> we actually picked up these dog bowls from HomeSense. They look a lot like the Yeti ones. It's definitely a good dupe for them. They're by Hydroflow, but they're quite nice. I like this color, but they also come in white from HomeSense. So yeah, we just have a slow feeder bowl in there. I'll show you guys us using them too because I have a really cute clip of that. Um, we have to feed beans. So he gets half a muffin a day. These are the Earth Life muffins. And what I do is I just kind of crumble it in here. So his food always looks like this and it's always pre-portioned stuff. It's frozen, but it's like fresh frozen, if that makes sense. He doesn't eat dry food or kibble or anything. So we put it in his slow feeder bowl 
and then we put it in this bowl to catch all like the crumbs and then we come over here with his food and you can see Toledo's usually with me do you want to go up there beans he knows the drill this food you put it down Oklahoma octopus oak tree okay go good boy and that's how we feed him dinner task of the day is to clean the closet this gets so messy every single week especially when i'm filming or just getting ready like now that we have places to go and stuff like that so it always gets really messy and i don't think i've done a closet update since then so let's clean this up <laughs> guys we're all cleaned up this is as good as it's going to get today but i'm going to show you guys and try on a few things that i've picked up over the last month or so like everything is like kind of summer and we're going into kind of more fall fashion almost so i'm going to show you guys some stuff i picked up at the thrift store slash at um some other places really need to reorganize my closet and hope do some other storage solution because i like having the open closet like this i think it's really really nice and it definitely keeps me on my toes it always kind of stays neat like this and it's easy to put things back like cleaning this all up literally took maybe 10 minutes but as you guys can see i always have like an overflow especially when the laundry is done um so i'm thinking maybe we'll do a built-in situation i don't know if it should be an open closet or not so let me know what you guys think First on the haul, I got the Divinity Romper from Aritzia. I waited months for this and it finally came back in stock around the sale. Didn't get it on sale, but I got this in a size small. It's really, really comfortable. But one thing is the straps are not adjustable and I'm always nervous about them falling down. I also picked up these shorts from Public Butter about a month ago. They have a massive butt rip in them. I actually wore these to Aberfoil, but I really like the cut and they fit really perfectly. I'm gonna throw it on top of this romper and show you what I mean. So this looks extremely funny, obviously, because I have the romper underneath, but they fit so perfect on the waist. Um, they're definitely well-loved, but the massive ass rip that's going on right there, I don't know what to do. I think I'm going to patch it up. I thought maybe if I wore biker shorts under, kind of like what I'm doing right now, um, but like obviously you'd hike them up so you don't see them underneath, like that would work, but I just still feel awkward wearing them, but I really like the fit. So I'm going to figure that situation out. I got these little graphic tees too from the thrift store. Fun fact guys, always go to the kids section. I picked these up when I picked up that book. This one is like total surfer vibes, super, super cute, just a little baby tee. And then I got this Inuasha top. I did not watch Inuasha as a child, so I'm a poser, but I just thought this top was really cute and very like in right now. So I'm just gonna try this one on actually because I haven't tried this one on, but I put this already on my Instagram. So guys, this fit exactly how I wanted it to. Like how freaking cute. Oh my God, this is so cute. I even like it over the bike shorts like this. I think that's like a really cute little outfit. You could also with these rompers, I love that you can like tie the top higher depending on what look you wanna go for. But even just with like a pair of jeans like this, I think this top is super cute. I think it was like two bucks. Um, I also picked up two dresses when we went to Aberfoyle. We stopped at Guelph after. Um, so I got these two items. I'll show you guys on on top of the romper because I'm lazy. But <laughs> it's this first white dress. Let's try this on. It's tennis -y and like this is a very like interesting little label. I don't know where it's from. This is so what I'd be wearing to Alabama Rush. <laughs> I think it was like $4.00 maybe like it wasn't that expensive i don't really know the brand because the tag was kind of mysterious but know what else this um dress reminds me so much of it reminds me of her dress in aquamarine except it's white but same type of neckline this is so cute oh my gosh should i put on these shoes just to complete the look oh my gosh so cute wait this is so cute what a look this dress is actually from Guess originally, but I thrifted it for a few bucks in Guelph. It turned out so cute, and I'm wearing these little flip-flop sandals with it um, that are wedged. I also picked these up at the thrift store this month sometime. I can't remember when, but this is such a cute little dress. Like, can you imagine this with a pair of sneakers? I think the pearls are just throwing me off. This really reminds me of the Bama Rush videos, but 
I think it's very cute. So this is like a must-have. You guys need to know about this. I, if you live in Toronto especially, or just like in Canada in general, I'm obsessed with those home scents slash home goods, TJ Maxx, Marshalls, Instagrams. I'll link some of my favorites in the description box, but there are so many. You can go through like what I'm following so you guys can see. But these APL sneakers, I managed to find for $100 and normally they're like over two something. So I got these navy ones specifically to work out in, but don't sleep on Marshalls and like Home Sense and all that stuff because there's always some good finds there. Um, and I've been really wanting APL sneakers for a long time and these are super comfortable. So very excited about those. Things are getting a little crazy at the house. We're dealing with some other stuff. So I am going to go, but I hope you guys enjoyed this one and this random mishmash of stuff that happened over the last month. Let me know if you like regular vlogs because I could definitely do these weekly and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye everyone.